what food used to be popular but has fallen out of style. Candy cigarettes. In England, a lot of French foods. Go to a restaurant 20 or 30 years ago, a lot of French dishes would be on the menu seen as the height of sophistication at the time. I remember Ramsay criticizing some restaurants on Kitchen Nightmares for having some of these dishes, telling them it's not the 1980s anymore. Nowadays, you're likely to see dishes from further afield such as tire Japanese instead at a fairly standard gastropub. My mom makes ambrosia and said it's from the 50s, but nobody eats it. It's really good though. It's got coconut, marshmallows, and tiny oranges and stuff. Waldorf salad. Have only seen it a handful of times since my grandparents died. Used to have it there all the time. Cake pops used to be everywhere. Now I only see them at Starbucks. Butterscotch candy. In the late 1700s and early 1800s in the US, bushmeat was very common. Squirrels, raccoons, and beavers were all on the menu. They were very common and easy to hunt. Rabbit also used to be way more popular than it is today. Froyo. A Lester potato chips. Half the fat, twice the diary. Fish. We still consume a lot of fish, but not even close to how dominant it was historically. Throughout much of history, Europeans and Americans in particular, fish would make up two meals of the week. Now, most people have it probably a few times a month at most, if that. Also, pickled foods. A lot more food used to be pickled as it was a way of keeping it fresh. Pocky. Seems like I used to see that shit everywhere and it's fallen off. Fondue. I remember when bacon used to be all the rage about 10 years ago. Crisco. Of course, not to eat by itself, but as a shortening fat. But very few people use it anymore. Eating robins was quite popular in the 1800s. Here's a recipe from Women's Cookbook published in 1890. Cover the bottom of a pie dish with thin slices of beef and fat bacon, over which lay 10 or 12 robins, previously rolled in flour, stuffed as above, season with a teaspoon of salt, a quarter ditto of pepper, one chopped parsley, and one chopped eschelots. Lay a bay leaf over. Add a gill of broth and cover with three quarters of a pound of half puff taste, bake one hour in a moderate oven, shake well to make the gravy in the pie, form a kind of sauce, and serve quite hot.